Mysterious Dark Matter. What exactly is it? We have no idea. Anyway, welcome wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be playing around with the dark matter in Universe Sandbox Square, and imagine, hypothetically, what would happen if our solar system actually orbited around a chunk of dark matter, and then basically do some other things related to this unusual concept. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. So here I was thinking, you know, how can you actually place a chunk of dark matter in our solar system just so we can see the effects it would have on our planet Earth and on our sun and so on. And I realized that, well, there seems to be, there seems to be no way to add dark matter. It hasn't really been added as a feature in Universe Sandbox. So we're going to have to approach this matter in an entirely different way. Ha, I said matter. That was totally a pun. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take a galaxy. Just, you know, pick a galaxy, any galaxy. I am going to take uh, Pinwheel, because why not? Well, I never really use Pinwheel anyway. Might as well use it this, this time. And now we're going to zoom out and look for a chunk of dark matter that we actually want. So all of these galaxies will have dark matter in them because that's essentially how they are supported. If I were to accelerate time here, you would see that with dark matter, with, with these red spheres that you see everywhere, this would actually orbit normally, and by this I mean matter, and by orbit normally I mean it would actually keep the galaxy together, um, because if I were to remove all of this, if I were to remove all of the dark matter, you would see that it would suddenly start falling apart. So dark matter matters. It's somewhere out there and it seems to hold galaxies together. We don't really know anything about it though, and we couldn't actually find it for about a decade now, even though we use some advanced, super advanced machines and techniques to try to discover it. What we have discovered very recently though, about a month ago, is that, um, and when I say mo a month ago, I mean um, early 2017, is that it seems that there was almost no dark matter in the beginning of the universe. Early galaxies seem to have very, very, very little dark matter. So it sounds like dark matter appeared. It sounds like it was actually created. It sounds like it was, you know, it wasn't there and now it is here. Um, or possibly we just don't understand the universe at all and we have our calculations of gravity and everything else in the universe completely wrong, which is also a possibility. Anyway, take this, erase it. We don't need this. We only need one of them. We only need this one right here. We're going to call it the solar system dark matter and there you go so that's going to be our dark matter that we're going to place our solar system around we're going to take our sun actually we're going to click this little circle that will place the entire system and then place it somewhere let's place it somewhere close actually let's place it like uh i don't know right around here maybe almost entirely inside the red circle of dark matter and if I were to zoom out a little bit, and if I were to actually slow down time a little bit, you would see that uh, we now have a relatively stable orbit around the dark matter chunk. Now, I'm actually going to go here for a second, and I'm going to remove some of the planets that I'm not particularly interested in, because they're going to create extremely slow gameplay for us. We're actually going to erase Saturn um, and Jupiter, or at least their moons, and we're also get, going to get rid of anything else that has a lot of moons, because it will unfortunately slow down our game dramatically. So we're going to keep the terrestrial planets here, we're going to keep Mars, Venus, Mercury, and Earth, and then place Jupiter and Saturn manually, just so that we actually have them in our solar system. Might as well actually add Neptune and Uranus as well. So, uh, not exactly to, uh, to scale, but it's close enough. So what we're going to do now is we basically are going to run this simulation and discover what's going to happen to our solar system as it slowly orbits around this humongously massive uh, dark matter chunk. And if you know anything about dark matter, it doesn't seem to interact with normal matter. As a matter of fact, we're actually even going to go inside of it at some point and nothing will happen. Now, this will take a while, so we might, we might not actually uh, have to wait for this. Let's actually, let's take a star. Pick a star, any star. Let's take Proxima Centauri, our closest neighbor, and place it inside the dark matter. I'm going to place it right there. 
and watch what happens. Nothing. It just orbits around the dark matter again. So dark matter in this case is essentially invisible. Everything passes through it. Matter doesn't interact with it, but it does have a gravitational effect. So that's very unusual. And this is why we have no idea how to, how to actually prove it. Not to discover it, but how to actually prove it exists and how to essentially demonstrate what it's made out of. It doesn't interact with anything we know. We know that it exists simply because of the effects it has on galaxies and simply because it keeps galaxies together. But anyway, enough about the science. I've talked about dark matter many, many times before. You can check out some of the other videos where I explain it in more detail. So what are we going to do here now? So this doesn't interact with anything. Our solar system is not affected by it at all. Earth is essentially normal temperature, orbits around sun like nothing happened before. In other words, there could be actually dark matter right next to us right now and we wouldn't even know. We can only detect its effects by uh, differences in orbits. But because it's so massive, it would affect everything. It would affect the sun, it would affect stars near us. So for all we know, we could actually be orbiting around a huge chunk of dark matter right now. And we wouldn't even feel it. And it's actually probably happening. It's very likely that this is actually what's happening. But because it's invisible, we don't really know it. And well, okay, that's cool. So, you know, this is a possibility. This is actually what may happen right now. But we can play around with this a little bit more in the game. And this is what I'm going to do right now. This uh, dark matter chunk actually has the mass of about 4 billion suns. It's actually a lot more massive than the, um, the super massive black hole in the center of the Milky Way. It's super cold. It's uh, 4,400 light years in radius, but has no effect on matter whatsoever, except for gravitational effects. How about we press this button right here? How about we actually turn it into normal matter? Let's see what happens. And here we go. Three, two, one, and convert. Whoa, okay. And look at that. We've turned this into an extremely massive, super ultra massive, uh, black dwarf. Well, not really a dwarf, more like a black super ultra giant. And we're inside of it, as a matter of fact. Now, I can actually place something in orbit around it. I can maybe even place Earth in orbit around it and see what effect it will have on this Earth. Uh, but our sun is inside of it right now, and it's already formed a huge supernova. It's going to possibly actually expand really quickly. Um, but we are inside of it, so let's find out what's going to happen to our star and our planet Earth. Okay, so far, not much. Hmm, the temperature increased a little bit, but not enough for us to worry about, even though we're technically inside of this super ultra massive star right now. But that black hole chunk would create a star that would be this big. It is humongous. It's literally 4,400 light years in radius, 4 billion masses of sun, it's bigger than anything we can even imagine. It is a little bit bigger than it should be. And this is a pretty cool effect it creates too. A very black star, as a matter of fact a super hot star as well, it, it is ridiculously hot. Um, but uh, it also has a supernova coming from behind it, but for some reason, once again, it doesn't interact with, with the matter here. Our Earth that's orbiting right next to it seems to be actually colder than it should be. It's not only is it colder, but it's also lacking everything, <laughs> lacking texture here. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't seem to have any effect. Now, let's see if we can maybe do something else about this. Let's see if we can maybe, just maybe, press this button right here. And, oh, well, that doesn't do anything. That doesn't change anything. That's not fun. I thought it would actually create more supernova for me. Maybe if I change some of the parameters here? And unfortunately, no, the answer is no. Well, I can clearly change its size and uh, its mass, but not nothing really that will affect anything in this particular simulation. So our sun and our Earth orbiting the sun is still pretty much the same. But the supernova that I've created um, from creating this object may actually change things a little bit. It may actually heat up and possibly even evaporate our Earth because uh, that's what supernova do. They warm up things and they make things super, super hot. 
And so I guess we could actually wait for this supernova to get to our planet Earth and see what actually happens. Or alternatively, we could maybe go to uh, the closer star, Proxima Centauri, and potentially place our planet Earth right here and then see what happens to it. Hmm. Nothing. Even the supernova created by this hypothetical uh, dark matter that, that was turned into a star doesn't affect any of the regular matter. So the game doesn't seem to allow me to create anything that will destroy things. In other words, this star right here is still made out of dark matter that doesn't have any effect on regular matter, which is by itself is actually pretty cool. So our sun that is inside of this uh, superstar is still fine. So is our planet Earth. As a matter of fact, there is Earth right there going through its seasons as if nothing happened. So this suggests that we could be inside this huge dark matter supernova in a dark matter star and not even feel it a bit. Which is what a lot of scientists think might actually be happening. They, they think that maybe dark matter actually has this completely uh, parallel dark universe with a lot of, you know, dark matter interacting with each other, with a lot of dark matter um, creating things that we, we just don't see. Possibly even dark matter life out there that we are not aware of. But we'll not be able to see it until we figure out how to actually detect this invisible dark matter to begin with. And anyway, well, that's all I wanted to do in this video. I wanted to play around with, the, you know, the dark matter button. I wanted to play around with the dark matter. I wanted to see how it interacts with our solar system. And as we discovered, it doesn't really do anything to our solar system at all. It does create this cool supernova, though, and this really, really massive dark matter star. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe, come back here tomorrow to learn something completely different using video games, and share this with someone who enjoys watching space stuff, or wants to learn through video games as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye Okay, this is the last chance, let's see what happens if we explode this thing. Are you telling me nothing will happen? Are you saying I can explode this and nothing will happen? Oh well. At least we tried.